Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to add Google web fonts into your Dreamweaver site. Okay, as you can see, I have an example up here. Uh, just, just you know, jibber jabber. It's actually Latin. And uh, what you want to do first is go to Google Web Fonts, which is Google.com/webfonts. And uh, it'll have a listing of all these particular fonts that you can add to your website. Uh, apparently, they have about 620. But uh, you can preview the text in different uh, categories by the font name, by different sayings. And then you can choose which one you like for your site. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, choose any font here. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and choose this one. It's called Quintessential. And uh, all you have to do is click on Quick Use. And this code is right here. You want to copy it. Go back into Dreamweaver, into your code here. And anywhere between the two heads, you know where the head is and the head closes out, you want to go ahead and uh, paste that font. And then. Uh, go back into it right here and you want to copy and paste uh, the font family I'm sorry you want to copy it and then um, go into your style sheet and all you have to do is uh, type P comma H1 H1 is the header that I have there of course and then the curly brackets and just paste that information and end it with a curly bracket and then now when we go into design we don't see anything but uh, sometimes it doesn't appear that way but if we go to uh, live view you will see your uh, font there uh, you can do more than one so if I wanted to have this H1 being something um, here, let's go back in say we want the uh, header to be uh, uh, what's a good example here? Just trying to find something with a thick font. Um, if you click on Quick Use again, copy this code, and then go into our uh, source code, and we go ahead and paste this after, like we did before, right after the next line, and then um, copy this font family again. And then I'm going to go into my style sheet, and um, this time I'm going to go ahead and put uh, H1, curly bracket, and I'm going to paste this code, and then with the curly bracket again. But uh, I need to take the H1 out here because we don't want to use it there. And if we go into design, live view we'll see our particular font here so you are no longer constricted just to use what uh, fonts the Dreamweaver gives you um, there are a couple options you can use but I, I like this Google one a lot I just find it very easy to use and uh, whatever viewer is looking at your website they will be able to look at the same font that you used though there is no problem uh, that would be it for today and uh, thanks for listening and um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And if you can, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my uploads. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.